Hello, you're on time for New Vision TV News. I am Ruth Naseje. With the battle lines drawn between incumbent Mugisha Muntu and Patrick Oboy Amriat as the main contenders for the FDC party, New Vision TV examines the risk the outcome possesses to the party itself. Could the Forum for Democratic Change inadvertently be awarding President Museveni's wish of finishing off the current opposition parties by 2021, a wish that has also been articulated by the NRM spokesman Ofono Pondo? Patrick Oboe Amuriat, now known by the acronym POA, is an experienced legislator with a distinguished record, just like Mujishimuntu the man he is trying to unseat as Forum for Democratic Change president. But like General Muntu, who was a long-serving commander of the National Army, Poa is not very close to the grassroots people. He is a civil engineer and a farmer with double heritage origin from the east and north of the country. So the party has to choose between two similar personalities, with the main difference being their ethnic identities. Whoever wins, the party will likely be injured by a thinic fracture. The challenge we face in our time today, <laughs> all the Ugandan people, you want us to defuse that bomb? Look at people, look at their character, look at their experiences, look at their skills. When you have your car, you look for the best mechanic. It being whispered loudly that retired Colonel Chiza Besje is behind Poa's bid. While this is not a crime, it will be seen by many as Besje's stabbing Munsha Muntu after the worth Nandala Mafab is not standing. Muntu, who is always quietly accused on not being able to take on President Museveni, would have benefited from outright support from Besje. Southern party heavyweights like Joyce Sebugwao and Ingrid Trinawa rooting for power is an unmistakable sign that he is indeed Besge's candidate. <music> party publicist Semuju Ibrahim Unganda has gone a step further and disclosed that their first party leader who preceded Chiza Besge, Salam Musumba, was opposed to Muntu's candidature in their first presidential contest, blaming it Banyankole wanting to dominate the leadership. Semuji himself admits that the reason he was opposed to Muntu in that contest was having a Munyankole taking over from Besuje. <music> While the Forum for Democratic Change may want to show that its top leaders do not have to come from the West, the fielding of power raises the question, why not, for example, Mama Cecilia Ogwal, a person with an unassailable national stature whose long list of achievements include turning down the vice president's job, which was offered to her in the 90s? Why not the highly regarded former leader of opposition, Professor Ogenga Latigo? While this might have personal reasons not to run, the public has not been told and is left wondering why the party is not using such tested leaders. The campaigns are just starting and at the end, either Poa or Muntu will be defeated. A defeat of Poa would be so bad for the party in the north and east, where NRM and President Museveni are making persistent inroads. A defeat of Muntu will be equally bad as it will be amplified by the party's opponents as a way of smuggling Besje back through power as a front, thereby maintaining their radicalized politics, with Raila Odinga's recent show in Kenya as a reference. Unlike strong characters like Cecilia Oguar and Ogenga Latigo, who would be fully in charge, Paul may not easily convince everybody that he will not be doing Besje's bidding. In any case, Forum for Democratic Change would be unlikely to field power for President of Uganda in 2021, nor a defeated Muntu. And so again, it will be Chiza Besje for flag bearer. There's no shortage of ammunition for opponents to hit the FDC with at the end of the contest. A poor win will easily be branded as best you're clinging on, while a moon to win will easily be portrayed as Westerners clinging on. Will the Forum for Democratic Change survive the poor moon to battle? 
You're still watching New Vision TV and in our daily Pearl of Africa series, we take a look at Lake Kijenibarora. Now, this lake is found in Rakai district in the central region of Uganda. It is reported to have formed itself between the early 1940s and the early 1950s. Residents here say it is where it derived its name, Kijenibarora, a cocky word, meaning People saw it coming. Now the lake is a blessing to so many residents here since they catch fish and also grow crops around its shores. Central Uganda harbors a lake reported to have formed itself. According to locals of Rakai district, their forefathers saw a small portion of water in the ground slowly become a lake. And this is where it derives its name Kijanibarora. This name comes from two dialects which are Kochi and Runyankole which mean that people saw it coming. This lake is surrounded by so many tribes, but the Kochi and the Banyankore dominate the population. The major economic activity in the area is fishing. Birdwatching is another activity that is embraced by tourists when they come to the area. For more Pearl of Africa stories, visit www.newvision.co.ug. And that's all we had for you. Thank you for watching. Be sure to catch more of your news updates on your mobile phone, on your desktop, on your tablet, and anywhere on the go by visiting our website www.newvision.co.ug. I am Ruth Nasejai.